How to Read the Periodic Table by Nick, Andres, and Beth. Hey y'all. Oh. Hey y'all, this is everything y'all need to know about this here periodic table. First off, here's the periodic table. Second, y'all y'all need to know what these here rows are called and their meaning. With this here periodic table, the rows here y'all see are called periods. This here period tells y'all how many energy levels the atom has. The columns are called groups. They tell y'all the number of electrons in the valence shell. Now this here element box y'all see here is a hydrogen, for example. Here, this here number, y'all call y'all call the atom number. That tells y'all how many electrons and neutrons are in the atom, off off this here of this here element. This here y'all call the atomic mass, which is the number of protons and the number of neutrons added together. There, there are also these things called isotopes, which are atoms of the same element but have different numbers of neutrons. Most of these here elements are metals, uh, but there are also nonmetals and metalloids. These here metals are elements that are good conductors of electricity and heat. Metals are solid at room temperature, except for mercury. These here transitional metals are from group 3 to 12. Transitional metals were among the first elements to be discovered. These here nonmetals are of the same that have that are poor conductors of heat and electricity. These here nonmetals have low boiling points, so nonmetals are gases from room temperature. All these gases are given giving me some gas. <laughs> now let's let's get down to these oh, that's true. That's true. Keep going. Let's get down to these here metalloids. That's y'all. That that y'all youngins should know. Then all y'all have have to get back before the wife goes crazy. Metalloids are elements with properties that fall between these properties of metals and nonmetals. The end. <laughs>